In this video, we will make our enemy smarter by using State Machine. We will add Wandering, Chasing, Attacking, and also better collision for our map, so let's start. Currently our map only has collision for the ground, let's fix that. Now can add collision shape to every mesh instance individually, but there simply are too many nodes. I have found another way to doing to easily. Using Blender, import the map. I will set its scale as the same in Gato. Now export this in OBJ format. In Gato add a mesh instance and load the OBJ mesh. Set its position same as the map. Now that they are at same place, we can simply create collusion for only one mesh instance. Delete the mesh instance. We can also remove the OBJ as we don't need it. Add a static body and place the collision shape inside it. We have got collision for every object now. But now the enemy can get stuck sometimes. In enemy's navigation agent enable avoidance. It can also get stuck around sharp edges, simply increase the radius of the agent to fix this. Let's create a state machine. Create a new script for the state machine and for state 2. In state script set the class name to state. Create function like enter, exit, process, physics process which we will call if the state is active. Create a signal for transitioning between states. In the state machine class create a variable to keep track of current state. Now we will loop through the children's state machine and if the node is a state edit two states dictionary. Convert the name to lowercase to avoid any naming issues. Connect the transition signal to a new function. Check if state is not same as new state then return. Get the new state form our state's dictionary. If there is already a current state then call exit function on it. Finally enter the new state. Call the process and physic process function of current state in state machine script. Create a variable for initial state and set current state to it. Set the class name to state machine as well. Now let's create a wandering state. Inherit the state script. Create wander direction and wander time variable. In a function, we will set direction randomly leaving the y axis. And wander time too. When we enter the state, we want to randomize it. In process, if wander time is less than zero, randomize variables again. Subtract delta from it every frame. Create physics process function. 
at a reference to the enemy. And set the class name. In enemy create a walk and run speed. Comment the movement code for now. In our state set enemy's velocity to wander direction times walk speed. At gravity 2 if enemy is not on ground, add state machine to our enemy. Also add the wander state. Assign the initial state to wandering state. In game the enemy now wanders around. Create a new script for enemy chasing. Create a variable for the player. We already added player its own group in part 1. Go and watch that and check out the entire playlist. Now copy the navigation code from enemy to this state. Get the enemy variable as well. Get the variables from enemy which belong to it. Change process to physics process. And in process set the target position to player's global position. Set its class name, add it to state machine. Set it as initial state. Now the enemy will chase us. Remove this function and place move and slide in physics process. Remove this old attacking code as well as this because we are setting the target position in chasing state. By using state machine our code is becoming clean. Create a chase distance variable. In chase state we will se if player is farther than chase distance. Then we can transition to wandering state by calling the transition signal and giving the name of new state. I forgot to set the current state to new state in state machine. Let's also lower the chase distance a bit. Now enemy chases us and if we get too far it starts wandering around. Let's also make it chase us when we are near it. Get the player in our wandering script. In process, if player is closet and chase distance, we will transition to chase state. If we get too close now, it starts to chase us again. Now it's time for enemy attacking. Create a new script for it. Let's reference the enemy and player. In its process function we will damage the player. Let's also transition to it from our chase state. If player is closer than attack reach then transition to attack state.
transition to chase state if player is farther than attack reach. Now enemy will wander, chase and attack us. Let's make the enemy stand still sometimes. In wander state, we will randomly set the velocity to zero. This makes the enemy randomly stand still and wander around. Thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe to not miss the next video.